good vibes at Warrimal Station. Very friendly. Um, we'll go and have a look at our site. They more or less said do whatever we want because it's not too busy. There's no fires. No fires, but it's too windy anyway, so that's right. <laughs> Um, sure, but are you on the road? So you can get into that site this there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is our site. Okay. Happy? <laughs> you don't seem that happy. How do you? Hey, look, we got a riverfront site. Hey, what's that? Look at it. It's high tide. It's a river. <laughs> One where the tide's coming in half. You reckon it will? All the way over there. Yeah. Hey, show me your new cap. Stand still. Let's have a look at it. Look at that. Oh, you're so lucky getting that, aren't you? Two <laughs> lollipops. Get... And lollipops. Not very often you get something free in life, girls. Not too many dead branches to fall on us. It's something worth keeping an eye on when it's really windy, and it is really windy, sadly to say. But um, if, when you're camping under big trees, make sure there's no dead branches above you, because yeah, it can be a bit dangerous. That mo's got to go, hey. What's wrong with it? <laughs> It's got to go. It's so blonde. You've got to focus on what's happening here, <laughs> no. right? Oh. Keen harps? Do you want a beer? No. Oh, good answer. Do you want a beer, Willow? You sure? How relaxing. <laughs> we just pretend we're on our own. Yeah. Oh god. So just behind me is the old historic tip and it is actually worthwhile coming out and checking out. There's some really cool old cars and some old history there and yeah, just really, really quirky and definitely worthwhile coming out and having a look at. Can you imagine towing that across the Gibb River Road? <laughs> People probably did. There's not much held them together. I think, um, I think our caravan's built a bit better than that these days. Duh. You just don't say, don't you? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Megan's cooking segment. Check it out. We put chicken in a barbecue. Woo <laughs> yeah, but it's what you've done with it. Oh. Warmal. 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 Yep. Warmal? Warmal. Alright, so we just left Warmal Station. Generally, you haven't had a bad experience at a station for a quick overnight stop. You could probably do two days there if the weather was really good, do a bit more of a walk. Uh, the hot bars were really nice. We jumped in there at six o'clock this morning, which I was surprised the whole family got involved. So, uh, good early start. Uh, again, we don't know where we're gonna head up ahead today. So, um, we're eventually heading to Monkey Mire, but uh, we'll, we'll try and find a little free camp again tonight and just pray to God that this winter stops because it is shit. But anyway, we're off on the road again, so. Coffees. Thanks, Mum. Cheers.
Another successful photo. <laughs> mm, the flies are back. Oh my god, they're up my nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're at Hamlin Pool. Um, the stro stro stromolomatites. <laughs> Do you know what they are? What are they? The oldest living fossils. So we're gonna go and have a look at them. But the flies are horrible. The wind is horrible. You can't escape the weather. living fossils in the world. Um, they're kind of like little rocks in the water, I guess, for those that may not know what they are. I don't really know what they are, but... I can't say I've ever heard of anything like this. A whole lot, it's just millions and millions of tiny shells. They actually used it to make bricks and um, build buildings out of it. And all the carvings of where they cut it all out are still here. It's just amazing. Look at that. It's just solid shell. It's unbelievable. And there is heaps and heaps and heaps of it. It just goes, goes forever. The flies are pretty good. There's really not that many around at all. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's so bad. Go for a little quick jog around the car park and jump in the car. Because there's going to be a... 300 in the car. <laughs> oh god, terrible. Alright, what's happening in here? What's the temperature? We're doing a little bit of schoolwork what in here. Are we, what's the temperature, Mum? The temperature is, um, I would say it was about 25 yesterday. Getting cooler. 
Look at that view out there. Okay. But it is super windy. So we are in here doing schoolwork or annoying. diaries. We are doing diaries. The only thing getting me through up. right now, oh, JC, Hi. Jacob's Creek, you know, on the good stuff. And take what you can get. But anyway. Bloody hell. The wind in WA is crazy. Like, it's stunning. Stunning place, but the wind is so unpredictable and you just don't know. I'm eyes are watering because it's so windy here, but anyway, it is what it is, and I still love WA, but we're probably gonna go inside. too bad and I'd really like to put the drone up but it probably would get blown away it'd be fairly windy up there still so, so it's always the little things when you're free camping like this morning we we cooked um cooked a bit of eggs on toast and just had the music blaring the kids were singing no one around to piss off and um I know those those little moments that you really look back on and remember and again that's why we do it so you really, really try and free camp where you can because it's some of the most memorable moments. Uh, we had a little bit of a mission to get in here yesterday, just following our nose, we were wondering whether we could get bogged. And, but you know, that's, that's part of the fun and 100% uh, worth it to wake up in a place like this. Um, we did feel like the van was going to fall over last night. It was that windy, however, so WA is living up to its reputation, I'm afraid. Didn't bother us yesterday, we did so much. The little aquarium on the way to Denham. It was so good. The tour. Even me and Megan learned a lot. But the kids definitely learn heaps. So, And when you're travelling on the road and you can get tours like that, um, that's pretty much school for the day for the kids. It was fantastic. Anyway, off to... Through Denham today and then off to Monkey Mire. Um, we're probably going to stay in the caravan park out there. There's not too many options. So. But it's supposed to be beautiful as well. So looking forward to that one. Bed making day. There you go, the track up to the Francois Perron National Park, right up to the tip, is crazy soft. One of the softest tracks we've done so far, so we're going down to 13 in the front, about 16 in the rear, because it was really struggling, so. Yeah, bit of a fun drive this one, and uh, beautiful scenery, so we'll keep, keep plugging along, get to the top, without getting bogged, hopefully, so don't get picked on, and uh, we'll have a look.
Francois Perron National Park has been amazing today. The roads up were super soft. The beach is even softer. But we got somewhere like this to ourselves. There's literally no one here. Uh, that really excited us. It feels like you're in the middle of nowhere and you truly are. Uh, I'd really put it up there with, you know, up past Broome, the Dampier Peninsula, and Exmouth and Ningaloo area. Yes, the snorkeling isn't quite up there, but it's just really a, a different experience again. Truly enjoyed it and 100% want to come back here. Really, really had an awesome afternoon. So we spent most of the day in Denham, um, we've just pulled up at Goulet Bluff on the way out of the Perron Peninsula. We've loved it here, loved every second of it. Monkey Mire, Denham and the Francois Perron National Park has been absolutely stunning and I would 100% come back here and I think I will one day. Like, it, It's just a bit different to um, a lot of the other coastal places we've been. The coast just changes so much as does the outback and it's no different. So. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Kalbarri. We're looking forward to that one. That's that's really well hyped up as well So um, I'm sure that's going to be beautiful and um, we just uh, feel so lucky to be doing this We're enjoying every second of it. So don't forget guys. You only live once get out there and enjoy it <music>